Good morning, everybody. It's a bright morning outside, and the fall is winding down into uh, another season. I would not call the name because some of you get nervous <laughs> when you hear that name. But you know, I'll call it anyway because you're thinking about it. And because I can hear you thinking, I'll call it winter is coming. <laughs> but the good news is that spring is going to happen after winter. <laughs> and that's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. So we have some spring people here. We have them, right? Yeah. Good morning, Charmaine Hudson here. You have a name, right? Yes, Charmaine. And to my <laughs> left? Joan Antoine. Hello, everybody. Right. I'm excited about this lesson. I hope you guys are having a really good week. Welcome to those at home, those in the building, and we trust that as you listen, and you can please grab your Bibles and follow along with us. However, I'll, I'll pray before we start, and then we'll dig right into it. Heavenly Father, be with us. May your Holy Spirit be in our hearts, be in this space for the whole day. And as we leave here, Help us to leave with the Holy Spirit in our hearts, traveling with us, so the week ahead of us will be a successful week. I pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 The theme for this morning is... This is it? how we do it. This is how <laughs> we do it. <laughs> yes. And it's 1 Corinthians... Chapter 5. 5, 1 to 13. I'll read... Mm -hmm from the NIV, it is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and of a kind that does not occur even among pagans. A man has his father's wife and you are proud. Shouldn't you rather have been filled with grief and have put out of your fellowship the man who did this? Even though I am not physically present, I am with you in spirit, and I have already passed judgment on the one who did this, just as if I were present. When you are assembled in the name of our Lord Jesus, and I am with you in spirit, and the power of our Lord Jesus is present, hand this man over to Satan, so that the sinful nature may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord." Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast, that you may be a new batch without yeast, as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with bread without yeast, the bread of sincerity and truth. I have written you in my letter not to associate with sexually immoral people, not at all meaning the people of this world who are immoral, or the greedy and swindlers or idolaters. In that case, you would have to leave this world. But now I am writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother, but is sexually immoral, or greedy, an idolater, or a slanderer, a drunkard, or a swindler. With such a man, do not even eat. What business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Expel the wicked man from among you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give us a quick, uh, what happened last week, Sherman? So last week we talked about Paul being the spiritual father and being that he's the spiritual father of the Church of Corinthians, he was telling them that the behavior that they were exhibiting was incorrect and they needed to stop it now. There were people that were talking big talk and they thought maybe he was, a, he was afraid of them, but he wondered, like, are the power you have, is it the power of God or is it the power of man? And he also said, I'm going to send Timothy because you need to live by example and follow my example and 
Timothy is a child of God and you can follow his example. And then he asked at the end, I'm going to come and see you, God willing. And how do you want me to come? Do you want me to come bearing a rod and a staff to mm -hmm. beat you into submission? Or do you want me to come gentle and teach you what to do? Okay, very good. No, before I start, some things that we must remember. God's words are God's words. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said, I am God and I change not. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. So all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. So although Paul is writing here, Paul is still, still under the influence of the Holy Spirit. So as we go through these lessons, they're they, they going to be difficult from now on. Yes. I want you to remember that. Mm -hmm. At times we tend to pick and choose what part of the scripture applies to us. Right. What yes. part we are going to enforce. Yes. And which parts we're going to put our own meaning to. Mm. So as we go through the, the next few weeks, please remember this statement. And God's words are still God's words, and his words will never change. Right. Yes. Let's start. Yes, okay. First verse. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is actually reported that there is immorality among you and immorality of such a kind as does not exist even among the Gentiles that someone has his father's wife. This was not a one night stand. No. This is <laughs> ongoing. This is ongoing. <laughs> and as you mm. there is not even a hint of repentance when mm. you when you look at this. Mm -hmm. And as permissive as the Corinthian culture was, was mm -hmm. incest was taboo even for them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to God's people, this should have been unthinkable. Mm -hmm. Yes. But this is ongoing because it says that someone has. Yes. So this was an ongoing sinful relationship. So then, John, what you are telling me mm -hmm. is that sometimes the church is worse than the world. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to say worse, just as bad as the world. Um, <laughs> well, we someone know better. <laughs> um, someone says when the sin of the church shocks the world, we have a problem. Mm. Yes, we do. It says say that the sin that was committed it does not even occur yes, among did. pagans. Right. Yes, it does. Okay, right. so it tells me that they went really overboard. Yes, mm -hmm. they did. Mm -hmm. And. But the question that I have really is that, and we're going to go slow this morning, please. We, if we don't finish, we don't finish. Okay. <laughs> the, the question I have then is, how does this happen? It didn't happen in one day. No. Or two days. No. What really would cause something like this to occur? Well, you, you know, the... the Corinthian Christians came out of a culture that was really permissive. Mm -hmm. But Paul was with them for a year and a half, mm -hmm. telling them what it is that they ought to do because he converted, you know, through the Holy Spirit, they were converted. Mm -hmm. But the people were so puffed up with themselves after they come to know Christ, they believe that they should tolerate this, this person. Yes. But on the other hand, if we read back in the, um, I think it's chapter three or four, the people were disrespectful to the leaders. Mm -hmm. yes, so one sin will lead to the next. Because yeah. about two weeks ago we had, um, we talked about bad leadership, remember? Right, that? right. But sometimes bad leadership are bad because of certain reasons. Mm. N number one, how do you correct somebody who is your friend? <laughs> well, you're still supposed to. Uh, no, yep, you're uh, supposed how, to do that. Uh, how do you correct someone when they're sending your life? Hmm, good question. That is a good question. 
regardless of the fact that there's sin in your life, because mm -hmm. you are supposed to be moving forward each and every day, mm. when sin is presented, mm -hmm. you need to correct it, stop it at, in its track. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why Paul wrote them in saying, you need to stop this. You're going down the, the wrong path. But they, mm -hmm. some of them were not listening because a letter was sent. So someone was concerned about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he is addressing it right away. He's not saying, well, let me go and see what's going on and figure out. He's like, no, stop. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. All through that we've been reading is what you're doing is wrong. You must stop. And then he's now starting to state all the things that they are doing incorrect. Yeah. Right. Part, part of our core values is one item. Mm. That's called accountability. Right. Yes. That's Shiloh's core value, accountability. Mm -hmm. Accountable to whom? Each accountable other. to each other, but each more other. so to God. Yes. Because so if you're accountable to God, you would not put your friend or another member above the principles of God. Mm. Yes. First Corinthians 4 verse 1 says, So then men ought to regard us as servants so, mm -hmm. of Christ. If the leaders are servants, mm -hmm. the members are servants as well, mm -hmm. then we are all equal. That's right. Yes, so they, in church, there should not be a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, nobody should be untouchable. Right. right, right. No one, the pastor is not untouchable. Because God is no respecter of persons. And if he doesn't <laughs> like it, too bad for him. <laughs> if he's doing something that is not, not right, mm -hmm. I would tell him. And if I'm doing something that is not right, he should tell you. He should tell me. <laughs> right. But it, it seems as if there was a problem of accountability here. Mm -hmm. Where maybe the leaders wanted to, I'm just imagining now, mm -hmm. want to say something, but couldn't based on the status of that person who was doing whatever they were doing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, we tend to put people on a pedestal because they have money or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we ought not to do that. And since we are members mm -hmm. of Christ's body, mm -hmm. the actions of one person impact the entire body. Yes, it does. Yes. It affects everyone. Mm -hmm. Because if, 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 if um, someone else should come into the church and they see this person behaving like that, mm -hmm. okay, well, if they are not doing anything about that, I can do it too. Exactly. Because... When you come into a church as a visitor, mm -hmm. there are certain expectations. Mm -hmm. And if the expectations are not met, they may walk back, back out. Mm -hmm. So we have a response. We all have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. When Cain killed Abel, God asked him, a rhetorical question. Where's your brother? Mm -hmm. What did Cain say? Am I my brother's, brother's keeper? keeper. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we isn't, are. But isn't that what we, isn't that what we tell God? Yes. Hmm. We By are. our actions, By right? our action. Mm -hmm. We want to leave it to God to do the bad work. <laughs> In other words, let God deal with this brother. Mm -hmm. But the scripture is saying here from Paul to the expression of the Holy Spirit, you deal with the brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. You correct the brother. Don't mm -hmm. leave him to God. And there's a place for prayer. And there's a prayer for talk. There's a space for talk. Right. Yes, <laughs> you, you, you have gone straight into verse 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. It's that you have become arrogant and have not mourned instead so that the one who had done this deed would be removed mm -hmm. from your means. They should have been able to rebuke him so that he can turn from his wicked ways and be saved. Instead, they were happy they were letting him do it. with him in his sin. So Paul is shocked that the church is not grieving and praying yes. about this. So when he said, you have become, he's not pointing to one person. Mm -hmm. He's pointing to the congregation because you there is plural. You should, you know. Be praying and weeping. Exactly. So... What this man did was very bad. Mm -hmm. What he did is something that will not take him to heaven. Mm -hmm. There are things that will not take us to heaven that we tolerate. 
Hmm. It might not be as big as the, of, of sleeping with somebody else's wife. Mm -hmm. It could be someone who creates unity, disunity in church. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have them with that, yeah. that's with that spirit. <laughs> but yet, do we allow it in our church? Hmm. Do we allow grumblers, people who grumble in our church? <laughs> We allow complain. a lot of things in our church that we should not be allowed. <laughs> that, yeah. What we have done, we have given sin certain hierarchy. Hmm. This sin is this up here. This sin is here. This sin is down here. But all sin is sin. Is sin. Is sin. Yeah. yeah. There's at no least, big sin and no little sin. At least sin a destruction <laughs> and must be dealt with. Right. I also wanted to point out that it's not just the fact that he was having a relationship with his father's wife. It's all immoral sexual mm -hmm. sins mm -hmm. that he was, they were talking yeah. about. Okay. There was a lot of different things that um, encompasses in this verse. Mm -hmm. So we do allow, we don't say things, we, we don't correct, we don't um, address problems when it happens mm -hmm. um, in our church. We, some people say, why are they letting them do that? Like, oh my goodness. but. None of us, me included, we don't go and say, you know what, I know better. I'm reading the Bible. I know what God mm -hmm, wants mm -hmm. us to do, and I know the standard he'd set. I can mm -hmm. go and talk to that person. We don't do that, and that's something that we need to do. And we do need to do it based on scriptural um, teachings, not based on what we think or what, we, what should be. It should be scriptural things. Yeah, because this is a congregational problem. Yes. This should not be left to the pastors or the elders to do. Exactly. If we know something is wrong, we ought to deal with it. And, but each of us should be diligent enough to be alert and rebuke those who are persistent in sin. So but we have to make sure our lives... Why don't we do it, though? Why don't we do it? <laughs> well, I know why we, I wouldn't do it. We have to be brave, you know, because we have to be bold. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. God um, is encouraging us. Because remember... This man was in the hands of Satan. Satan was using this guy. Yes. And only those who would show him, you know, show him Christ could lead him back. Yes. You know. So then, the church tried back in the day. I'm mm -hmm. old, so back in the day is, <laughs> is quite far, okay? <laughs> to do something like this. Mm -hmm. But they had gender prejudices. Yes, mm. they did. Yeah. When a young lady got pregnant, I say young lady because if you're young, probably you can't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> they would disfellowship the young lady. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever asked about that man. Mm -hmm. yes. She did not get, not by herself. Mm -hmm. It failed. Yes. And it will fail because it was. There was prejudices there. Right. There should not be prejudices there when it comes to discipline. Yep. And discipline is not a bad thing. We think it's, it's, we think it's a bad thing because you are almost embarrassing somebody else. Mm -hmm. But really and truly. That's for restoration. Sometimes mm -hmm. we have to be embarrassed in order to change. Mm -hmm. Remember right. that we're looking far ahead, mm -hmm. not that far, to Jesus' second coming. Yes, we are. And we want everybody to be saved in his kingdom. Yeah. Yes. So when yeah. you discipline somebody, is not to punish them, mm -hmm. but it's, it's to restore them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you think it's punishment, then you have the, the wrong idea. Yeah. That's why we can't favor anybody. You were saying back in the day, but further back in the day, <laughs> when, when God mm. instructed them on what they ought to do, mm -hmm. he, he knew that people will be selective with man. Before, but he said both of them mm. should be stoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Yeah. Because the woman alone cannot commit adultery. How on earth could that happen? <laughs> It's both of them, so why select one over the other? That is true. I was talking to someone, it was two weeks ago, one call a name, and the person told me he wished that God would do what he did back then, where the hmm. earth would open up and swallow bad people. 
Well, uh, um, and it's only then he he, <laughs> he said not me, okay? <laughs> he said only then people will recognize that God is powerful, that God means business. We think that God doesn't mean business because sometimes he doesn't act mm -hmm. right away. Yep. But he will act at the appointed time. He will. But you, you remember, oh, sorry, go I was going to say, go if ahead. he opened up and swallowed by bad people, I don't think anybody would be here. <laughs> 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 and you see how one man's sin could affect the whole body. Remember Achan? Mm -hmm. When they, the walls of Jericho were um, destroyed, and he told them, do not take anything. Achan took Babylonian's garment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they went out to fight, mm -hmm. and they lost the battle because there was sin in the camp. Yeah. Yeah. We're studying from First Corinthians, by the way, those who just joined us, and we mm -hmm. are um, four now. No, we're no, number two, three. three. We are, we are, mm -hmm. We're in verse three now. Hmm. I can read it from the clear word. Please. Even though I'm not there, I don't have to think twice to tell you what <laughs> to do in this situation. <laughs> so. Paul is saying, I'm not there, but I already knew what you should have been doing. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. Don't think twice about it. Go and do Go what ahead. you're supposed to yep. do. So yep. who, Charmaine, who is going to do it, though? Paul is admonishing them to do it. Remember, Paul was not present. This is a letter. Right. He, that he, he got a report from Chloe what was going on in, 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 in the, the Corinth, church at Corinth. Mm -hmm. But who was, who was ready to do it? And... If they could have done it, wouldn't they have done it? <laughs> Maybe they were afraid at the time, but now that Paul has given the authority, and he's also saying, God's spirit will be with you. I think we are moving into verse 4 now. No, just fine, go ahead. He said, God, the, the spirit of Christ will be with you. I'm giving you the authority to get rid of this man because he is polluting the church. We have a situation where, and you guys know it's true. Mm -hmm. People who correct, we look down on in church. Mm -hmm. Don't we? Mm -hmm. Anybody who corrects, they are looked down upon at, in our church. Who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? Mm -hmm. You think he's better than all of us mm. or any of us? With that, then who is able to correct? Again, <laughs> if we are correcting based on the word of the Bible right. and the instruction that God mm -hmm. gave us, mm -hmm. it should not matter if that person think, who does he think he is? Mm -hmm. You are doing what God has told you to do or commanded you to do. And again, it's not just one person that can correct anyone in this situation could have corrected but also remember that they had a lot of pride mm -hmm. and they were remember mm -hmm. paul had to write to them before and say you are going down the wrong direction so right. it, was, it would be hard for them to correct because they're not even realizing that what they are doing themselves is wrong mm -hmm. i'm glad that someone wrote to paul and said look what's happening here mm -hmm. so then he has to step in and saying i taught you better you are not following my example mm -hmm. you're not listening to the holy spirit you all meaning more than one right. should have done something about the situation and you did not that mm -hmm. shows that there was disunity because you should have Mm -hmm. And you're mm -hmm. not. By the way, our theme for Sabbath school for this series is um, unity. Unity. And so then you correct at the risk of your own sins being exposed. You do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you that's, do. That's, that's, if, that's, the, that's the reason why you have to be right with God as well. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, even though you may not have committed any sin, they come they, back. Exactly. Because remember Paul, who, who was Paul? Mm -hmm. well, Paul was, was probably the greatest persecutor <laughs> of the Christian. That's right. Was, yeah. So if Paul can, can tell you to do this, mm -hmm. Paul recognized that when we change, we change. We're mm -hmm. different people. Mm -hmm. So at the risk of your sins, your previous sins being exposed, you still have an obligation to the church to correct. But you should be 
be, should have the faith enough to believe that if God has forgiven you of your sins, you should not worry about what others may say about it, who knows, mm. because he has forgiven you. Mm. Now, I just like to say something about church discipline for those who may not understand. Mm -hmm. It says right. church discipline is the process of correcting sinful behavior among members of a local church body for the purpose of protecting the church, restoring the sinner to a right walk with God, mm -hmm. and renewing fellowship among the church members. Yes. When the line becomes blurred, mm -hmm as it is right now, mm -hmm. it's difficult to correct mm -hmm. because people now don't even know what is right mm -hmm. or what is wrong. And that's become problematic. Mm -hmm. The lines have to be clearly drawn. Mm -hmm. And we slip up slowly, slowly, slowly until we slip up in, in, in a grand way. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem, it, start, it starts small but it escalates into something really big. Right, right. Mm -hmm. In verse 5, it said, Hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. But Jesus gives us four steps mm -hmm. in Matthew 8, 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. Go to the brother in private. If he does not listen, mm -hmm. take another. If he still refuses, mm -hmm. tell, the, tell the, the matter to the entire church. Mm -hmm. If he still refuses, mm -hmm. he is to be treated as a Gentile. Paul bypassed first three verses, <laughs> and went straight to four. <laughs> he said, listen, you guys didn't even bother to do it. We know what is going on. Everybody knows about it. Just get rid of the guy. So then time was an issue. Mm -hmm. It happened for so long that we have to take action right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you see, compassion and tolerance might be admirable mm -hmm. on the surface. Mm -hmm. But Looking the other way when there is a known sin and immoral, be and immoral behavior is nothing to be proud of. So we yeah. have to deal with, with it. it. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, Charmaine, I know Joan has to run. <laughs> now run, she can walk, walk it quickly. <laughs> it says, hand this man over to Satan so that the sinful nature may be destroyed and does his spirit save on the day of the Lord? His hand him over to Satan. Is, 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 is that something good? It sounds, when we were doing this, it sounded horrible. And when I was reading it again, mm. and I read it in a different version, mm. he is being controlled by Satan at the moment mm -hmm. because of what he is doing. Mm -hmm. And he's in an assembly of Christians. Mm -hmm. So he needs to be away from that assembly. And being away from that assembly will hopefully help him to realize that what he's doing is incorrect and he has to change his way through the Holy Spirit and ask, ask God to help him, to restore him back to what he should be. Okay, so it's better for a person to know whose camp they're in. Yes. Than to be in the wrong camp being hypocritical. Yes. If you know that you're not you're on Satan's ground, Yes. You will do something to About be it. reinstated. Yes. But if you are in with everybody else, pretending to be who you are not, the chances are you are not going to change. You're not going to change. That's right. Remember we said we don't, we are not saved in our sin. Mm. We are saved from, from our, our sin. sin. So if we're living in the, if we're in the church and we're sinning, we're not being saved. We're still in sin. So, Charmaine, what do you call a person like him who is in church? A person like him who is in church? Yeah, the person who's committing sin like that in church. A sinner that needs to be saved. And, the, the, Charmaine, if you fail in me. He's a sinner that needs to be saved. You fail in me, Charmaine. <laughs> we call those persons what? Is it a natural man? Carnal, the carnal. Oh, well, we talked about that too. He's, <laughs> yes, we did, he's practicing his carnal behaviors. He a is. carnal person is a person who, <clears throat> for lack of a better word, comes to church. They're with the brethren. They look as if they're saved, but they're not saved. But they continue their carnality, their carnal word? behavior. <laughs> the carnal a, behavior. It's a word yes. now, Charmaine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And that is dangerous. It is. Because 
the Paul talks about the yeast. Yes. And I will finish with the yeast part. It doesn't take much yeast to make dough rise. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take much yeast to make dough rise. Uh, next week, we'll continue. The theme this morning is called, what again? This is how we do it. Okay. This is how we do it means that it should have been, this is how we should do it. But I purposely said, but this is how we do it. In other words, we're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. All right? And we need to get back on we track. We need to get back on track. Like Paul said, this behavior must stop. And he wasn't just talking about one. He was talking about the whole community. It has to stop. Yeah. We can't go down that path anymore. Church is only beneficial when it points to Jesus Christ. Yes. If it doesn't point to Jesus Christ, it's be just in a club. We love each other, we love on each other, and we, we pat each other on the back. They probably even pat the same brother on the back. Perhaps. Probably figured that he was doing, that he was, I wish I was like him. <laughs> God's spirit should be in this place. Yes, it should. So let's bring our spirit in by your, our behavior, by our thoughts, by your words. And also by our actions, even if those actions have to be difficult ones. We we'll continue next week. The next few weeks is going to be very difficult. And I hope that you guys can stay on board with us. Remember, God's words are God's words. And God says He's a God. And I change not. Amen. Be blessed. Amen.